Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Crack Concepts and in today's video we will be solving another lead code problem. There is an entire playlist where I have solved various SQL lead codes. So do check it out and with that I will start with today's question. Today's problem is problem number 585 investments in 2016. So let's begin with this. So this is our table and these are the column names PID. TIV 2015, TIV 2016, latitude and longitude, and these are the data types. PID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains information about one policy. So PID is basically policy ID, where PID is the policy holder's policy ID. TIV 2015 is the total investment value in 2015, and TIV 2016 is the total investment value in 2016. Lat is the latitude of the policy holder's city and lon, L-O-N is the longitude of the policy holder's city and it is guaranteed that latitude and longitude cannot be null. Write a solution to report the sum of all total investment values in 2016, TIV 2016, so we need to add TIV 2016 for all policy holders who, so there, there are certain conditions certain criteria that we need to follow so there are two first is have the same TIV 2015 wherever the TIV 2015 is same so have the same TIV 2015 value as one or more other policy holders number two are not located in the same city as any other policy holder that is lat and lawn attribute pairs must be unique which means Lat and lawn, these needs to these need to be unique. And TIV, TIV 2015 should be the same. Okay. Round TIV 2016, this is the final output that we need to find. We need to find the sum of TIV 2016 to two decimal places. So we need to round it off, which we will do. The result format is in the following example. So let's see this example and we will understand the problem better. This is our table. Policy ID total investment value in 2015 and total investment value in 2016 latitude longitude and the output is 45 so what are the two criterias the first is we have to find the TIV 2016 for all those policies that have the same TIV 2015 so TIV 15 is same for 1 3 and 4 so 1 3 and 4 have the same TIV 2015. This is the first criteria. Second is are not located in the same city. So they're not located in the same city, which means latitude and long longitude pair should be unique. So if you see 1010 10 is unique and there is no other 1010 10 in the table. 2020, but there are two rows in the same table which have the same latitude longitude. So this has to be discarded. Then we have 4040, which is just once in the table. So 1010, 4040, these are the unique latitude longitude pair. Out of these two, they also have the same TIV 2015 because that was our second criteria. Should have the same TIV 2015 value as one or more policy holders. So our output would be 5 plus 40, which is 45. We can also read the explanation over here. The first record in the table, like the last record, meets both of the two criteria the TIFF 2015 value 10 is the same as the third and fourth records and its location is unique the second record does not meet any of the two criteria. its TIV 2015 is not like any other policy holders and its location is the same as the third record which makes the third record fail too so this is the reason because the latitude and longitude of the third record is same as second one so the third one also fails even though TIV 2015 is same for 1, 3 and 4 but the latitude and longitude for PID 3 is not unique hence only PID 1 and 4 will be considered in our output and hence we will add TIV 2016 for PID 1 and 4 which is 40 plus 5, 45. So the result is the sum of TIV 2016 of the first and last record which is 45. So what we need to do is we need to write two conditions in the WHERE clause. One, where we are finding those those records where TIV 2015 is same 
and the second condition is wherever latitude and longitude is unique so let's do that i will first write the first condition i would suggest pausing the video at this moment and try to solve this question on your own and then come back to the video to see the answer that i will be sharing so let's write the solution so there are two criteria let's write the first criteria we have to find all those tiv 2015s where tiv 2015 the count the count of tiv 2015 is greater than equal to 1 because the condition is have the same tiv 2015 value as one or more other policy holders so i will be writing select tiv 2015 from table name insurance group by TIV 2015 having count star greater than 1. This is not the output but I want to show you all the result of this query. So the output here is 10. So this condition, this condition, this query will give us give us a uh, TIV 2015 all those TIV 2015s which have count greater than 1 so in this in this sample table TIV 2015 10 has count greater than 1 because 20 is only there once so 10 this is our first condition right now for the time being I will comment this and I will write the second condition which is select now we have to find unique latitude and longitude which means we have to find all those latitude and longitude pair those have count equal to 1 so select lat on from insurance group by latitude and longitude having count star equal to 1 and now if I run it so we have two records which is 10 and 10 and 40 and 40 because 2020 is not unique because the count for these would be 2 so this query is going to give us the result for the first criteria that is in our question and this query will give us those records that that are following the second criteria now let's complete the query by adding this in the condition select sum of so the uh, select sum of tiv 2016 because that is what is needed we have to report sum of all total investment values in tiv 2016 for all the policy holders which have this criteria so select sum of tiv 2016 TIV 2016 from table insurance where TIV 2015 is equal to sorry in we have to use in because there can be a lot more records in our table so in in this this is our first criteria And latitude and longitude in, and this is our second criteria. So, this is our first criteria, and this is our second. We also have to round it to two decimals, but first let's run this. Uh, we have to give it an alias, which will be TIV 2016. And I'll run it. 
it has been accepted but we need to round it so i will use the function round and this is the input and we have to round it to two decimal points so i will write comma two and let's run this it is accepted all we need to do is we have to if we see the question we have to sum of all the total investment values in 2016 so we have to sum tiv 2016 which is what we are doing and then there are two criterias which we are adding over here from insurance where first condition is this and second condition is this so my tip would be whenever you're given such criteria try to divide the question into parts and write the queries in parts and then keep adding to it i hope that was clear and with that i will end this video make sure to check out our other videos other playlists check out our sql ebook thank you so much for watching